Now back to our main news of the day. The United States has changed its policy towards the Israeli settlements in disputed territories. And by doing so, it's opened the door to new business options for Israel. But with the BDS movement still trying to cut us off, paired with the new EU ruling, how will Israel deal with this problem? Well, here to try and explain one option is attorney Kalev Myers, founder and president of Arise. Kalev, thank you so much for being with us uh, today. What is Arise? Well, Arise is an acronym for the Alliance to Reinforce Israel Security and Economy. But basically, it's an organization I founded thinking that the most effective way to combat BDS and the, the growing boycott campaign in the West is by creating more business for Israel. We can't boycott the boycotters. And I see very little effectiveness through uh, legal and even legislative means of actually uh, combating uh, BDS. And so what we do is we turn to what I call low-hanging fruit, which are people who are uh, ideologically or faith-motivated to do business with Israel. There's tens of millions of evangelical Christians who support Israel in the nations. Many of them are business people. Many of them, if uh, given the chance, want to do business with Israel, want to bring their business here, want to connect to the economy. So we invite them to a, a large summit and, and connect them with Israeli entrepreneurs and Israeli technology. So really, instead of kind of combating the naysayers, you're just in empowering those who are already on Israel's side. Absolutely, absolutely. We're, we're a fo force multiplier for, for Israeli business. Incredible. And so uh, for, we'll, have, uh, we'll have around 600 business people from 50 different countries. Uh, on the Israeli side, we work with the Israel Export Institute, Israel Manufacturer Association, Israel Chambers of Commerce, the Ministry of Economic Affairs. We have a digital B2B matchmaking platform wow. so people can find each other easily and, and do their own tailor-made matchmaking and then meet face-to-face -face and well, do business. And I understand you have a, an upcoming conference as well, yes. is that correct? On December 4th at uh, the Lago Event Hall in uh, Rishon Etzion, uh, we'll be having uh, uh, this group descend on Israel hoping to business with us. If there's really entrepreneurs that might be interested in, in having meetings at our summit, meeting some of the people coming in, you can go to um, www.ariseb2b.com and upload your profile and then you can look through the people who are going to be participating in our summit and see if there's someone you want to meet. Well, who are, who are some of the companies or individuals that you're working with today? Today, so our, our participants include uh, very large, large, medium, small businesses, again, from 50 different nations. Uh, spread across many, many different sectors. Um, there, there are some, uh, for instance, we have a, a, a participant who's in the uh, executive leadership of Walmart, which is obviously a, a massive company. But then we have small to medium-sized businesses as well. And uh, we feel like uh, what we're doing is kind of like a concierge service for, for business people, helping them find the right, connect to the right people with the right technologies that can take their business to the next level. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, to what degree, because I know you mentioned that you're partnering to, a, to some degree with the Israeli government, but to what degree is that partnership uh, active and you know, what is Israel really doing with Arise? So uh, we do have a, um, a modest grant from the Ministry of Economic Affairs to, uh, to support what we're doing. The Israel Manufacturers Association, uh, Israel Export Institute, and the Federation of Binational Chambers of Commerce are also supported through the Ministry of Economic Affairs. So the, the, the government, I could say, is somewhat of a strategic partner uh, in what we're doing. And so, uh, so we're very excited about that. And, what, and you know, going back to kind of what brought this all on, the Pompeo statement, yeah. uh, he's saying we no longer per se, uh, you know, de facto consider the settlements illegal. How does that affect, you know, Arise's mission statement and, and activities going forward? Well, I think it was a good step. It's certainly a, a step that uh, our crowd supports. Uh, Pompeo himself is a devout Christian, just like most of the people around Trump. There's a strong evangelical Christian lobby in Washington that's really pushing the government to, to take these steps, whether there's the recognition of, of Jerusalem, this, our sovereignty over the Golan Heights. Now the, the latest um, uh, announcement by, by uh, Pompeo, everybody's excited about this. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what happens. This comes, of course, a week after the European Union, uh, uh, sure. the, the, the Court of Justice made this decision regarding labeling of products going into the European Union. But again, I'm not sure that that's the, the biggest struggle is a legislative or legal struggle. Uh, we have supporters in Europe, uh, again, mostly Christians, who say, um, well, thank God that now they're laboring, labeling it. Um, Wines that are created in Judea and Samaria will know which wines to buy, right? So at the end of the day, I'm not sure that that decision has a terrible effect on, on business for Israel, sure. but I prefer to work on the positive level. So what are we doing to create more business at the end of the day? All right, well, good luck to you and your organization. It, it sounds incredible. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank today. you. Thank you very much.